Hello everyone, welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off my new train. So let's get straight into the video. Firstly, I'd like to show off the starting procedure. So, let's jump in. We are going to click on the small key keypad and put in 110. This is the temperature we want the boiler to get to. Get a regulate. Then we're going to turn on these lights. We're then going to press the ignite button and you should see the firebox temperature slowly climbing. If you do not have the regulation set up, the boiler would not be will not increase heat. So we're also going to activate generator one and generator two. This means that when we start up the creation and start moving, we will actually have our generators on. These are off. Then all the power is going to go into the wheels, and we're not going to get any generation. But these don't really slow you down at all. Just a few other things while we wait for this boiler temp to get to 100, then the pressure would start increasing. We have boiler emergency release. If you press it, this light goes on. So if the pressure is above 9, or you're pressing the button, uh, steam will rush out of the boiler to stop an explosion. And then a boiler pressure warning is saying that the pressure is over 8, but it doesn't actually do anything other than tell you, hey, it's not working, or it's too much. You've got your generators, and it just tells you if your generator's working or not, and low battery warning if your battery gets too low. So we're now building up pressure. To get on there, you can see the pressure's being built up. We're going to press pump water, and we're going to oh, turn disengage the brake and throttle up. That allows steam to travel into or from the, the boiler into the turbine. So as you can see we're off. How cool is that? So it's pretty simple. Hardest part about it is you're going to have to wait for the boiler to heat up and this is its max speed if you're curious. If you want to know the track I'm using, there'll be a link in the description for the workshop creation. And here's the end of the track. <laughs> oh, it's stumbling down. Anyway, you can see there's a back carriage there, that's just more coal. Uh, Alright, we also have this so that you can break a little bit, variable, so you wouldn't just have a sudden break. Well, no, kind of, it doesn't matter. Oh, you can see that steam puffing out. If you look in here, you can see that that's turning on and off. That's because the boiler pressure's got, is getting high. The turbine's not working. So, why did I choose this specific train? instead of any other train. If you are unaware, this is actually based off a real train. Now, sorry if I mispronounce this, but I think it's pronounced the Bowery 64. Uh, there'll be you know, a little bit of text on the screen, and correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, probably am. So, this is Hashi's build challenge, he wanted to build a train. And he's also running a movie. And if you're interested in any of those things, I would suggest uh, go visiting Hush's channel and checking it out. For the movie, originally in the script he wanted this train being built, so I decided to get two in one, do the challenge, and help out for the movie. But then due to a change of script, this will not actually be featured in the movie. 
but that's why I picked this particular train. So this train uses the new Steam features. I was building another train, which I'll actually just check out if I low can find it. really doesn't look very good, uh, it just won't. <laughs> Move that down. So originally I was going to build like a diesel type train. You can kind of see where that was going. But I ended up not doing it because 1.2.0 came out, I think it is and steam power got released so i made a video about that and decided to make a new train which is the train that you were just seeing so let's take a look at the carriages here at the moment with this vehicle it comes with this coal uh carriage it can store around 600 coal on it and by default it's filled up so it's a pretty big amount of coal, as you can hear. So if you want to get coal from here into the train, the access point is in between here and in there. So let's just hop on. Oh, a bit difficult to hop on. I might add some sort of ladder to this. So we just unload some coal, and then the vessel shares it. The 648 was in there. Then we come down here, or well, we could probably reach from here. And there we go. And we load it up. Then to refuel, you just keep repeating the process. So it's pretty easy to work with the demonstration earlier I think that consumed about three coal so really not that much if we no clip up to the top here we have our air supply this which is connected to the emergency steam valve like you can see the steam boiler in there and that's just an emergency thing otherwise it goes into the turbine you can just see clipping through that block and any steam or exhaust from the firebox which is there comes out into here so remember if you ever see steam coming out of there you've got too much pressure and you should probably throttle up anyway i hope you enjoyed if you did please consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you in the next one Good. Bye.